What's up, guys? Leopold the Brave here. This is an episode commentary for universes. Yes, I'm going to be doing them for universes, too, because why not? <laughs> it's not like I'm going to ditch everything Fictional Fights related, ever. Like, for all eternity. This is just another form of Fictional Fights, just under a different title. So I don't have to force myself to do, like, fine animators or do animations and stuff, because... It's not really important to the results of the fight. The animation is just for entertainment only. And some people find just research entertaining, so... That's good. If you, if you come to universes looking for fancy animations, then you're in the wrong place. Because this show is a versus debate show for versus debaters, not a fancy animation show to entertain the casual audience. Because <clears throat> people sometimes just get mad at the animations. And I figured, well, why do that if they're not even going to watch the analysis? Because lots of people do that in fighting shows. Which is kind of disappointing and sad, really. Because this is such a fun thing to do, versus debating is super duper fun. And it's kind of sad to see people waste it by only watching the animations, instead of taking part in analyzing and, you know, finding out the results and stuff. But anyways, this first episode was very, very successful, and I'm very happy. It's, it's actually like on Anger vs. Poe levels of success. Like, if anyone remembers um, that episode of Fictional Fights, it did really, like, surprisingly well. Like, it outdid all the other episodes, and this one is the same. It's like outdoing all other episodes of Fictional Fights. It just did super duper, really super duper good, and I'm very, very happy because I was actually extremely worried about this episode. Not gonna lie, for two reasons. One is because I knew people were going to assume that this was some kind of like revenge against Dante for beating Bayonetta in death battle, which is stupid because I don't even hold a grudge over that. I haven't even talked about Dante versus Bayonetta in forever. Like, I don't think I've ever talked about it like since it I made that debunk video like back in March when it came out. I think, I think it was March. I'm, I don't remember. But I haven't talked about Dante vs. Bayonetta since then. So I don't... It's not like I'm obsessed and holding a grudge and angry over it. So this is not some kind of revenge thing against Dante. I wouldn't have put Dante in here if I didn't think he had a chance. But of course, Sora did outbeat him in the end. Because of the crazy feats. And the second reason I was worried is because of... <clears throat> this universal tweet that apparently his creator said. Like, people ask Munda, ask what Mundus created and the creator of Dante, um, Hideki Kamiya, replied with universe, and people assume that to mean Dante scales to the universal feed or whatever, or if it's even universal or all that. <clears throat> and Nocturne Bros, actually, in the comments, he talked about it. He actually was the first one to bring it up, I think. I mean, other people did say Dante was universal or something because of the tweet, but he was like the first person to debunk it. I mean, I knew it was a load of garbage too, but I just didn't know like the words for it. And I decided to leave it out of the episode anyways because, I don't know, it seems like things, be, people believe things more if you bring up something just to discard it, so I figured not to bother mentioning it in the first place. Kind of like what I did in the Fictional Fights episode for Roshi vs. Jirai, like, Roshi destroying the moon is an outlier because characters in Dragon Ball Z couldn't really destroy the moon at that time. They weren't at that power level. And if Roshi really could destroy the moon, then he could have handled Raditz and King Piccolo on his own and all that kind of stuff. So I figured I'd ra rather not mention it in the episode in the first place, and the episode did really well because of it. And some people did mention the moon thing, but they didn't, like, go ape over it like they would have if I mentioned it and then discarded it. So that's why I avoid. I that's why I avoided mentioning Dante's whole universal thing. Because the thing is, the creator Hideki Kamiya, he has very little do, to do with Dante. He did. I mean, he did some of the Double May Cry stuff, but then he went right to Bayonetta, and then he said Bayonetta would win in a fight between the two. So you can't pick and choose to believe what he says and what he doesn't say. Like I personally still like deep down think Bayonetta would win, but not. Not for his tweet, it's for my own reasons, like, from my own research and stuff, so. Not because of his tweets or anything, because, again, he contradicts himself a lot in tweets, and while he may have, while he may have had, while he may have had some stuff to do with these characters, 
It's very clear that he doesn't know versus debating. He's very wishy-washy. He's very flippy-floppy. He contradicts himself a lot. He doesn't know much about like the versus debating realm. And plus, even if Mundus was universal by creating that universe, he never attacked Dante with any universal attacks, and he's never displayed any universal durability. So there's no way Dante would actually scale universally to defeating Mundus if Mundus has never shown any durability universe feats. Because, I mean, if someone can destroy the planet, but they're as durable as a building, you don't scale the planet level by beating them. You scale to, durabil you scale to their durability, which is building level, because you're hitting them. <clears throat> now, if you got hit by them, then that would scale to your durability, because you're the one getting hit, and it's your defense that's that would end up being, like, planetary or something. You see what I mean? I'm probably making it more confusing than it actually is, but you get the point. <laughs> Anyways, as for Sora, I'm not exact. I'm actually not really a big fan of Kingdom Hearts, to be honest. I like the gameplay, but that's about it. The story drives me nuts. The characters are all bland, in my opinion. <clears throat> but I, I do like the gameplay very much, because I did have it in my childhood, and it was a fun game to play as a kid. But I never grew like super attached to it. It's never been one of my favorite games of all time. <clears throat> and plus, I think Dante's cool. So again, this wasn't some, this wasn't some sort of crazy revenge scheme against Dante for beating Bayonetta. This is just a battle against two stylish and flashy characters, and Sora just happened to win based on the research. <clears throat> so yeah, this is that's that's the thing. And also, I do, um, I'm very glad, 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 I don't know what I'm glad about, I had something on my mind, and then it escaped me, right, I was, uh, right as I was in the middle of that sentence. Um, think, 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 oh yeah, I'm also very glad that the format of the show worked very well, because it's not something that most Versus shows do, or I don't think any Versus show has done that. Right, we have the analysis, then the results, but in between, we have the predictions that everyone made, and I show off everyone's predictions and stuff. Because I want the, I want the community and fans to feel like they're more involved. So that's why I did that. Because I didn't want a fight scene, because I didn't want to have to like rely on it to, to get the series up. And surprisingly, without an animation, and just this whole prediction thing, people really, really liked it. So I'm I'm very 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 glad it worked out and I've very high hopes for the series considering how well it did under the circumstances. I mean Dante lost. Dante was the fan favorite character. He got the most votes in the poll, he got the most votes in the comments. Um both the video responses said he would win. So Dante won the popular vote by quite a bit. And people really really liked Dante. And there was no animation so the popular character lost without an a at least a cool animation for them to watch. And it still did as well as Aang vs. Poe. So that's that's a really good and I'm very happy and I'm, I hope the series continues to do this well. Next up is Piccolo vs. Boros. Um, I already have the script done and everything recorded for that. I just gotta edit it all together. Maybe it'll come by Friday, maybe it'll come by Saturday, who knows. But see you next time. Leopold the Brave, out.